a lot of his poems were made into like songs, for instance, yeah. right? And you know, it sounds so sweet, but you listen to it, and the message. The dark. Very dark. They're very dark, but um, you know, he was writing at a d pretty dark time, and and he uses. I mean, he's able. I mean, we're doing the the midrash itzik. We're doing the chumash leader. There, um, I brought him. I could read you one. Go ahead. The uh, okay. This is. Um, he he uses anachronism all the time, so he tell, retells Chumash stories, and the characters use their um, knowledge of what's to come. So Jacob is looking for Laban, and and he gets off his camel and pulls out his Chumash to check to make sure he's in the right place. Or Jacob is teaching his sons a Purim spiel called Mechiris Yosef, the selling of Joseph, and he's being the director of the play and he's explaining to Joseph how much he should and shouldn't cry when his brothers throw him into the pit. And he says to Joseph, cry but don't, but not too much because it's not the first time this is happening. And so he uses this kind of recursive quality to also say something about the iterative nature of Jewish history, you know, that, and of our lives. That we go, we, we keep getting, we get thrown into a pit, we get sold, we we somehow drag ourselves up, we somehow prevail, and then it happens again, and you know it's going to happen again. And there's, there's, um, there's something that's dark about that. But he does it in this really, I think, elegant, beautiful way. Um, but I'll read you one. You really want this? Yes. Okay, great. Hang on, let me find this one. This is, I, love, I love this one. This is um, about Hagar. And... Uh, he spends three poems, the, the patriarchs don't come off so well in manga, but some of the side characters that don't come off so well with, like the rabbis, come off very well with manga. He's got a modern eye, so he's got this really deep sympathy for Hagar, who's been exiled from Abraham's house. He takes three full poems to go through her story with the unfolding of what's going to happen to her, so with sort of growing realizations on her part of what's of what's going to happen. Uh, so hang on, just take me a second to find this. So this is the third one, and it's now she is alone out of the house. And in Torah, what happens, she wanders aimlessly. She finally despairs. She puts Ishmael down under a bush, a, you know, a, a boat, a, an arrow shot away so she doesn't have to watch him die. And she cries. Um, and then an angel appears, and the angel tells her to open her eyes and she sees a spring, and she's saved. So it unfolds differently um, in, in this Midrash, midrash by uh, Itzik Manger. Okay. Hager, uh, after mit von Weg. Hager sitzt auf Avente in mitten Weg auf Stein und fragt bei alle Winden, wo sie soll weitergehen. Sagt einer, geh kein Misrich, der zweite, kein Meirev go. Und der dritte, a vajne stifer, stift in ihre hor. Fragt sie bei die Fegel, was fliehen a hier und a her, a hin und a her, sagt einer, geh kein Soffen und geh kein Dorren der. Wehnt Hager, tate in Himmel, ich hab Joren getra gedient und it tun von mir spätten der Feugel und der Wind. Und Hager hebt auf die Augen, und der Zeta Karavan. Farois a grinem Mantel geht der türkische Sultan. Er kommt zu ihr, nennt er, nennt er, und sagt mit a fester Stimme, Sog, si du bist Hager, die Schiffe von Ibrahim. Und der kleine Pempek ist Ismail Ministan. Der Novi hat getun uns melden, as mir stammen von sein Stamm. Und er fällt vor ihr an nieder und knit vor ihr in Stäub. Mir haben dem Jiches gefunden, Allah, Allah, Aloib. Und Hager sitzt a verwirrte und weiß nicht, sie sie wo. Und a silberne, halbe Wonne finkelt in ihre Haar. So what I love about it <laughs> is, um, it's, Manger is 
instead of letting her walk out of the story, is bringing her into what is her goyrel, her Yerusha, the Yerusha of um, being the mother of the Ishmaelites, the mother of all Muslim people. The Turkish Sultan comes and, and offers obeisance. He bows down and a half moon shines in her hair and all of a sudden she's no longer the exile but she's the mother of a great nation and there's something very beautiful about it and and that he from his Jewish perspective you know happening you know writing this at the time of the Zionist settlement of Palestine you know is also aware of sort of the greatness of of the um, of Islam and sort of and the connect and the family connection and sort of rehabilitating the Hagar story in this particular way. I think it's very, very beautiful. Und der zu die Polizian schlagen mich mit Schwerden kanten. Selbst nicht mein Beten, mein Gewehn.